Well, hello and welcome, everybody, to the Healthy Weight Loss Webinar. Um, finally, we got this up and going. We had a little bit of technical difficulty, so I apologize for that. Uh, but it's going to be well worth it. Um, today we're going to talk about finding your healthy weight. And that's extremely important. As I told you guys before, you know, in our society we're, we're, we're driven to be skinny, and that is not always healthy. And, uh, you know, I, I use an analogy. I use this point. There was a, uh, a beautiful young woman in my college uh, that she, um, she was, I guess, I don't know what the politically correct term is, but she was just big bone. She was a little bit strong, you know, she was a little bit thick, but she ate right. She ate, um, you know, raw fruits, raw vegetables with her entire diet. She exercised every day, and she was absolutely beautiful. She had the perfect, I mean, she had beautiful skin. She had healthy skin. She was healthy, never got sick, um, and she was just a little bit thick, and that was her body style. That was her, her and, and she was confident with that, and so that goes to show you that not everybody is supposed to be, you know, a, a, a twig or a little skinny thing. So, um, we're going to find our healthy weight, though, and let's be honest with ourselves. Even though I start off with that because it's very important, let's be honest with ourselves when we are overweight because that can be unhealthy just the same. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some, some awesome strategies, some, some uh, ammunition here to use to, to find your healthy weight, to be able to lose the weight you need if you need to. Um, and we're going to start with uh, learning what a healthy diet is because that's so important when you're trying to find your healthy weight, when you're trying to lose weight, um, you know, there's all these diets, these fad diets that people are throwing in your face and, oh, yeah, do this. So oh, just eat protein. Oh, just eat, you know, carbohydrates or don't, don't touch fats, you know. And there's all these things and we're like, which one do we do? Which one is healthy? That's the one that we need to do. So I'm going to teach you exactly what a healthy diet looks like, what foods we need to eat, what foods we need to stay away from. And so many times we're not taught that, you know, in our entire life when we grow up and then our kids get that, right? And so... Uh, it's so important to understand first, know what a, a foundation, what a healthy diet is so that we can be our, our healthy weight. And then I'm going to move into, I've got two secret weapons for you, okay? So I understand that a lot of people want to have a healthy diet and they want to lose weight naturally like that, but sometimes we want to kick it up a notch. And I've got some secret weapons that are going to knock the weight right off of you, and we're gonna exp I'm going to show you what those two secret weapons are at the end of this. So um, just sit back, relax, and get ready for... Uh, an amazing webinar. Uh, first of all, I want to start with this. Function is always first. And for you guys who are patients in our office, you know this. The nervous system controls everything in your body. So it comes first. We've got to make sure we maximize the nervous system. You've got to have a, a healthy spine. There can't be pressure on those nerves, or it doesn't matter what you eat. It doesn't matter how much exercise you do. If the brain can't communicate with your body, if your heart's not functioning right, if your, your, your lungs, your digestion, you're not getting the nutrients from the food you eat, it doesn't matter uh, if, you're, if your nervous system is a wreck. So we always start with function first, and I know that you guys on this line are, are advanced, and this is an advanced workshop. So I just want to remind you and touch on that. There's a reason why we get adjusted. There's a reason why we keep our nervous system healthy, because it's, it's the first step. It's the foundation of health. And, and once we have that, then sure, yeah, we have to eat right, and we have to move on to that. And so what I want to start out with is, Instead of calling it a diet or, you know, maybe call it a healthy diet, but call it a lifestyle plan. I'm going to show you how to eat healthy and why we eat healthy. I choose to eat healthy because it's the right thing to do. I choose to be healthy and eat healthy because I know I have a responsibility to my family here on earth um, to provide for them. I know I have a calling and a purpose, and I have to be healthy in order to do that. And, uh, and, and so I, I eat right because it's the right thing to do, not because I want to be on the front of some magazine or, uh, you know, those things, when we, when we have uh, those types of, that type of motivation, uh, it can be dangerous. So let's, let's talk first about the, the easiest thing to understand. Really, if all you get from this talk is this, you're going to understand what a healthy diet can be and what an unhealthy diet can be. We talk about food by God versus food by man, right? And it really, if, you know, if, if I have anybody, which I doubt I do, but if I have somebody on the line who is like, oh, my goodness, he mentioned God, um, will understand this. Um, this is, what I'm talking about is food that is alive, that can support life, that can actually reproduce on its own, food that when God created, actually, um, he created it to, uh, to thrive, right? And then food that man has taken and manipulated and uh, and it's not alive. So let me give you an analogy. Let's say you take this apple, 
and uh, let's say you put it in the ground and you give it what it needs, on, uh, fertilizer and food and nutrient, uh, nutrients and water, and then what happens if we uh, nurture that plant? Well, that apple tree grows up. It may take years, but it can grow up and it can provide thousands of apples. And so that is life that's sitting right inside that apple. Let's do the same thing with a Twinkie, right? Let's take that Twinkie out of its package and dig a hole, put it in the ground, and I don't care what you fertilize it with or how much you water it, there's nothing coming out of that ground because there's no life there. And so when we put food in our body, we want to try to put as much food with, with actually life in it uh, in our body so that our body can sustain life. And let's just look at the, the nutrients right here. That, you know, a lot of people, they take individual vitamins, which there's nothing wrong with that, but let's say if I wanted to take vitamin C, that's just vitamin C that I'm taking. In that apple right there that you're looking at, not only is there vitamin C, but there's 400 other cofactors, minerals, um, other vitamins that work synergistically with vitamin C to give it an extra punch of power. And, and so God put all the nutrients that he wanted you to have inside those live foods. So we had to focus on that first. Now, this is not a coincidence. If you were on our uh, webinar last week, we talked about uh, preventing cancer. But your body has to be alkaline, okay? So 7.0 is neutral. Above 7.0 pH is alkaline. Below 7.0 pH is acidic. Food by God generally is very alkaline. It's going to keep your body up in the very healthy above 7.0, like 7.2, 3. Even 7.5 would be ideal. Um, food by man is usually very acidic, and cancer, fungus, yeast, bacteria, disease, they love an acidic environment. Um, your body will actually take calcium from your bones uh, because calcium will neutralize an acidic. So people with osteoporosis, a lot of times, we, they just have a very acidic uh, body, and their, their body has to pull from their bone that calcium to neutralize the acid from the things that we eat. So, you know, anytime we see someone with osteoporosis, we put them on a, a healthy diet, lots of greens, because calcium is just, uh, there, uh, there's a lot of good calcium in, in greens, vegetables. Uh, also exercise, and then, um, and then so that way their body stops taking bone from, uh, or calcium from their bone, and then they rebuild it, actually. Um, now, what I would recommend somebody do, and I do this, and we do this, is get some pH strips from your health food store, and check your pH uh, every day for about two weeks, and then you can do it once a week. Uh, but try to, try to eat healthy and get lots of uh, God-made foods in your body until you get your pH above 7.0. So you want to try to shoot for 7.5 if you can, but anywhere above 7.0, you're going to be at a more alkaline level, and you're going to get sick a lot less often. But as we start with uh, diet, we want to take it, I mean, we're going to break it down into nutrients. So there, there's four that are super important, protein, carbohydrates, Fats and water. And you're probably like, well, water is not a nutrient. But as you're going to see, it's so important that I actually put it in here in these four nutrients. Let's take a look at protein first, okay? Now, of course, there's good protein and bad protein. We want to get our protein from good sources like grass-fed meats, um, uh, fish, uh, even eggs. Those things are, are, uh, uh, are some nuts and seeds also have some protein in it as well. Protein is not used for energy by our body unless we're starving. Protein makes up enzymes that our body has, hormones that we produce, antibodies that we produce. Our body has to have proteins because they are the main building block, blocks. But, but get this, if you want to lose weight, protein, every time you eat protein, it spikes your metabolism up to 25%. So we eat, a protein, we eat protein with every meal, and you're going to keep pumping up your metabolism as you go, and you'll start burning fat. All right, carbohydrates. This is your body. This is not our enemy. A lot of people think carbohydrates are the enemy. Good, carbo good carbohydrates are absolutely necessary because your body's main source for energy is carbohydrates. The thing is, is that all carbohydrates will eventually turn into sugar in the body. All right, so our body is very smart. It's going to store sugar for when we need it for later. First, it's stored in the form of glycogen, right? That's what we call sugar that's stored in our body. So glycogen is stored in your muscles. Once those muscles fill up with glycogen, then it pours over and it's stored up in the liver, okay? When the liver gets full, then insulin, a hormone that your body releases, will actually cause the rest of that sugar that's left in your body to be stored as fat, okay? 
Now, it's, imp- it's very important that you understand leptin is another hormone. Leptin actually tells your brain to burn fat when, when, we, need to, when we need to break down that fat for, for uh, energy. But here's the problem. After long-term um, spikes of sugar, and so increases in insulin levels, and then long-term our body stops regulating leptin because we have so much uh, sugar in our blood, it doesn't need our energy from our fat cells, right? So our hormones start working against us. And that's why people can say, well, diet and exercise don't work for me. And it's not that they don't work. It's that there's been so much sugar, carbohydrates stacked up in the, in the system for so long that it's down-regulated your leptin um, and you, you're not producing the right amount of hormones there. Uh, so that's why even when you do diet or exercise, we're not getting that result that we want. I'm going to show you guys how to beat that. By the way, if you notice that this the words are a little off on these slides, uh, like down there at the bottom, you can't really see half that word. That's because I very quickly um, took my, uh, my PowerPoint from key and put it into PowerPoint. So it's going to be a little bit off as we go, but it's all right. We're going to make do. All right. So fats. Fats are extremely important. All right. We don't want to run from fats. A lot of people think fats make you fat. That is not true. Your brain is 60% fat and cholesterol. You need fats. You need good fats, all right? I didn't say bad fats. You need good fats in order to survive. So your cell, you have 70 trillion cells in your body, and each one of them is in, enveloped with fat. So the, it's called a, the, the outer layer is called a lipid bilayer, lipid meaning fat. That's what your cell is made out of. And if it's, made out, it's either made out of good fat or it's made out of bad fat. When it's made out of bad fat because that's what we've been eating, uh, then we start to have problems with the cell. Then we start to develop uh, sickness, disease, and those types of things. When it's, when it's made up of good fat, then the communication is there. Think nutrients are getting in. Waste materials are getting out. So we want to eat lots of good fat so that we, those cells are healthy. So good fats are found in raw olive oil, avocados, coconut oil, fish oil, um, healthy seeds and nuts, those types of things. Now, water. This is extremely, extremely important nutrient. I put it in here because it's going to play a major role on whether you're losing fat or not. Okay, 80% of your body is water. You are 80% water. So if that doesn't make water important, I don't know what does. But here's the thing. If you're dehydrated, you're going to hold on to fat. For one reason, because your body goes into a survival mode, and anytime you're in a survival mode, your body automatically holds on to fat. It's afraid you might need it later. Um, and then another reason is because our bodies store toxins in our fat cells. Okay? Now, one of the ways we detox and we get um, toxins out is by drinking a lot of water. Water it goes into our blood and uh, cl- helps clean out our blood ve- vessels. Then it's also filtered. Uh, all those toxins that it helps clean out are filtered through our kidneys and then out uh, in urination. And so we should drink six to eight bottles of water a day. But this is my number one thing I hear when I tell people to drink six to eight bottles of water a day. They say, man, I'm going to be peeing all the time, right? I can't go to the bathroom that much. That's a good thing. In fact, if, if you're drinking six to eight bottles of water and in the beginning you're urinating more often, that means your body is just dumping toxins. And so every time you have to go to the restroom to urinate, just think about that. Think this is a good thing. I'm getting rid of toxins. And that means that your body can start getting rid of fat cells. Because if your body stores toxins in fat cells and, it, and all your toxins are there, your body's not going to release fat. Because if it does, your toxins are just going to go in your body, right? So we've got to drink water if we want to lose weight. Um, obviously, put this in here. Reverse osmosis is what they say is actually the best type of water, uh, purified water to drink. All right. So those are the things we want to start putting into our diet. Good proteins, good fats, good carbohydrates. And, uh, and then start getting six to eight uh, bottles of water a day uh, into our diet. But let me show you, because there's actually more things that we should stay away from, let me show you food by man. And food by man is processed food. And this food clogs up our intestines, all right? So it, it makes it where we don't absorb the nutrients through our intestines. It fills our body up with toxins. And remember, we just talked about that. If our body's full of toxins, it's going to store those toxins in fat cells. We're not going to be able to get rid of them. Um, so that's, and that's how drinking Diet Coke can actually cause weight gain is because it's full of toxins that your body has to store in the fat, not because it has sugar or, or it doesn't. Uh, so I always tell everybody, when you stop eating a lot, if you eat a lot of food by man, if you stop that completely and you go straight to natural um, uh, raw foods, 
then uh, you may go through what we call a healing crisis. And that's where all the toxins that was built up in those fat cells starts to dump out into your blood because your body's getting rid of those fat cells. That's why you need to drink a lot of water so you can help flush that out. But you might feel that, right? You might feel kind of lousy the first couple of days that you really switch your diet. And that's okay. You'll get over that. It'll be perfectly fine after you get over, after you get over that. So I've got about 15 different things that we need to limit in our diet or we need to completely eliminate if we're going to be healthy and lose weight. Now, number one might surprise you, but pork, okay? The reason is is because pigs have a digestive system that only, it only takes four hours from tip to tip. So everything gets absorbed. Even all the toxins that they eat gets put right into the muscle. Basically, you're eating what they eat. And if you know pigs, uh, you don't want to eat what they eat, right? Shellfish, same thing. You're, you're eating what they eat. That little vein that's in the shrimp uh, that you eat, that's not a vein. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> but shell, shellfish are the pigs of the sea, okay? So we want to try to limit those or at least elim- or eliminate those completely. Now, sugar substitutes. Those are neurotoxins most of the time. So blue packet, pink packet, yellow packet, right? Um, just to give you an analogy, Splenda, which is obviously the yellow packet, um, it started out as an ant killer. And because it was sweet and ants would eat it, and it, at uh, high doses for them, so it would actually kill ants. Uh, so we want to stay away. I'd rather you eat sugar than sugar substitutes, but substitute with something like honey or, uh, you know, stevia. Stevia would be a good substitute to use there as well, help you lose weight. Hydrogenated oils and shortenings. What they do is they add a hydrogen molecule to these so that they can just sit on the shelf forever, all right? And it's almost, it's not very many molecules away from plastic, okay? So obviously it's not very good for you. And just think about it, if your cells are covered, because that's fat, if your cells are covered in hydro- hydrogenated oils and, and like pretty close to a plastic, no wonder they can't get nutrients in and waste materials out because we're, they're full of the bad fats. We want to stay away from additives, colorings, flavorings, preservatives. Those types of things are just chemicals, basically. Fast food, refined food, fried food, do I even have to continue or explain that at all? We want to stay away from those things if we're trying to lose weight especially, but even if we want to be healthy. Other quote-unquote animal products, okay, can anybody tell me what Spam is made of? Hot dogs, right, your mystery meats or packaged meats. Even any packaged meat that you'll buy there, most of the time they put nitrates, they put a lot of chemicals in there so that those meats can sit on the counter for months and months and months and not go bad. In fact, what they've developed now is for most uh, sandwich meat, most packaged sandwich meat, there's virus sprays. So they actually spray a virus onto the meat, and that virus eats the bacteria that would make the meat go bad. So you're eating all that. Um, if anything, you, you know, get the deli to actually cut natural meat for you, slices. Um, dairy, and I, you know, and I, I hate to put this in there, my whole family's in the dairy business, but dairy, the pasteurized dairy, the, the processed dairy, homogenized milk, this, they've been associated for years now with allergies, diabetes, and poor health. So, and I'm not talking about raw milk here. And one of the things, if you guys are here um, on the line and you're in the Houston area, uh, we go to Graham and Farms. And you can look it up on, on Google, but Graham and Farms, they have raw milk. It's organic raw uh, milk, and that stuff's good for you. They don't, they don't kill all the probiotics out of it. Homogenized milk means they took all the good stuff out. They took all the fat out, and it's the good fat that's in, that's in natural raw milk that, that is actually good for you. So... When they process it, they take all the good stuff out and they just leave um, some things that have been known to cause a lot of health problems. Caffeine, this one's a hard one we all struggle with, right? But caffeine is a CNS stimulant. stimulant. That's a, a central nervous system stimulant. What it does is it just makes the body more acidic. Remember, we want to be alkaline. Um, it's also a diuretic, so it dehydrates you. Now, a good substitute for the caffeine, if you want to drink, is green tea because it has uh, theobromide in it, which is a cancer fighter. Um, it's got a lot of uh, really other health qualities in it. So drink a lot of green tea if you can. Excuse me, refined sugar or white sugar. This destroys your immune system. Okay? It causes inflammation in your body, and it cranks up your insulin like crazy. Now, listen to this. Every time you eat, a good amount of sugar, refined, you know, white sugar, it drops your immune system for eight hours after you eat it. And, you know, no wonder in the winter we, we think the flu season comes in the winter, the cold comes in the winter. It's not because the temperature drops. I mean, especially here in Houston, the temperature really doesn't drop that much, right? It's because what happens is we end up going from 
Christmas party to Christmas party and eating all this, these sweets and all the sugar. And every time we do that, it drops our immune system for eight hours and we're exposed, uh, you know, to, um, to those types of things. So if you don't want to get sick this winter, start cutting your sugars out, increase your healthy fats, increase your healthy proteins, and drink lots of water. And also maybe take a vitamin D supplement because in the winter we're not getting enough sunlight. Uh, and vitamin D is vital for your immune system. So. Uh, we want to stay away from table salt, okay? It's, it's iodized. I don't know if I said that right. It's iodized, um, which is uh, it's just a, a synthetic chemical. The table salt is just synthetically made. So if we use sea salt instead, it's got all our minerals that we need, and it just tastes exactly the same. So um, high fructose corn syrup, that's going to cause a lot of inflammation in the body. We want to stay away from it. And then we just have a couple more here. Soy protein is a big one. Uh, except for fermented soy. That's usually pretty healthy. But soy protein has been related to hormone problems and cancer issues. All soy, all soy is basically genetically modified. Um, and, uh, and, and so what it also does is it prevents your body from using uh, B12. It binds to thyroid hormones, so it's going to mess up thyroid and cause problems there. And then they, a lot of people are trying to push this baby formula, that soy baby formula. In that soy baby, baby formula, there's it's 22 times as much estrogen as that baby needs. That's like uh, your baby being on five birth control medications. That's how much estrogen that is. And then we wonder why now they actually have record of uh, young girls going through puberty at four years old, right? Because we're just pumping this estrogen in, into them. So stay away from soy. Excessive alcohol, right? Don't have to go through that much, you know, define your own excessive, but really probably about, uh, you know, maybe a glass of, of wine every once in a while or something wouldn't be excessive, but uh, we know that's not good for us to drink too much alcohol. Uh, and it's not good for you if you're trying to lose weight, obviously. Prescription medications, we've got to try to limit these. Even any kind of medications or over-the-counter medications. By the way, prescription medications, by definition, are toxic. They're extremely toxic. There wouldn't be a prescription that you have to get for it if it wasn't toxic. Does that make sense? They're illegal for healthy people to take because it's going to make a healthy person sick because of the toxins in it. So it's going to make your body extremely acidic no matter what medications you take. And then obviously there's side effects as well. So it's just a good idea if we can limit that. Uh, uh, obviously we work with our doctor. I'm supposed to say that. But um, just... Eat as much God's food as possible. And let me give you some tips on getting more fruits and vegetables into your diet. And these are the tips that I use. Is I'll try to make a smoothie or a shake once a day. And, and a good way that I you know, can make my fruit last is sometimes we'll buy the frozen fruit uh, from the grocery store. And frozen fruit is still good. It's just been frozen. And you can use that frozen fruit in your smoothies, and it makes it colder. It almost acts as ice, but you also get that... that uh, you know, fruit in your diet. And then what I do with my smoothie is I'll add organic peanut butter. Um, then I have a, a, a green food powder that I'll put a scoop of green food powder in. And I'll actually grab some spinach, just a handful of spinach to put in all of my shakes or my smoothies. And you won't even taste it. Sometimes you'll see little green spots in your smoothie or something, but you really won't even taste the spinach that you put in there. Um, and it gives you a lot of nutrients. Uh, try to get a salad in. Um, and then snack bags. What I do is I'll make uh, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, and put it in a snack bag and make seven of them for the week and then grab one when I head out and I have to finish that. Or I have to eat that before lunch and I just snack on it. So we get those fruits and vegetables in our diet. We want to maybe get on uh, a fish oil or a probiotic and that will help you digest your food. It will help you um, be, uh, just, just be healthier, right? Okay, so we're going to go through eight ways to boost your metabolism and lose weight. And these are little tips that will help you. I mean, if our metabolism speeds up, obviously we're going to start losing weight easier. Here they are. Number one, eat breakfast. This kickstarts your metabolism automatically, and you start, uh, your, your body starts burning that food that you ate, so your metab metabolism starts kicking in. Eat smaller meals or snacks throughout the day instead of like two or three real large meals for two reasons. One, eating smaller snacks throughout the day keeps your metabolism burning. So every time we eat something, our metabolism spikes, right? Especially if we have protein in it, which is number three, consume protein with each meal, boost your metabolism 25% right there. But if we eat smaller meals throughout the day, it keeps our metabolism burning. It, uh, it, it levels out our insulin levels. And then also, what happens when we eat really large meals, like when we only ate twice a day, but we ate a large meal, it's our body only needs so much energy, and we're not like a car. You can't just fill up the tank 
leave it in the garage, and then use the energy later. Well, you can. It turns into fat, though, is what happens. So we have so much um, uh, carbohydrates and fats that are, that are left over from that large meal that we store that stuff as fat. But if we eat smaller meals, then our, we burn that before our body can store it, right? So another, number four, eat a green vegetable with each meal. And what that does is not only does it provide a lot of nutrition from the green vegetable, but it also provides fiber. And fiber will help push things all the way through, and you'll get, you'll, it'll be less calories, you're, it'll clean your intestines out, and you'll lose weight that way. We already covered drink six to eight bottles of water a day, the reasons why we have to do that if we want to lose weight. Resistance training. So we want to build muscles, and not just so we look good. Here's the key to building muscles. A muscle requires calories just to be there, right? So a person with more muscles burns calories while he sleeps because a muscle can't even uh, be sustained without, start, without burning calories all day and all night. And so the more muscles that you get, the more calories you burn. That means more metabolism you have. And so we would lift weights, and that's a big um, calorie burner. Although we also can do cardiovascular exercise like walking or biking or jogging because that's going to get our blood pumping. It's going to get oxygen to the cells, which is very important. Uh, it's going to help us lose weight that way. And this last one, a lot of people don't realize, but correcting head forward posture. So we know you all talk about that good curve that should be in the neck. Well, when we have good posture, not only do we get more oxygen, which helps our cells to function properly, but also the nerves in the neck go to the thyroid. And so the thyroid, as you know, highly... Um, it's uh, correlated with metabolism, and so we have to have those nerves working properly. And when we have a, a proper posture and a good curve in our neck, then that supplies proper nerve flow to the thyroid so it can function better. Okay, so what I want to do is I've asked Dr. Gina to, to share her story here because, um, you know, I, I know, I may know some about nutrition and, and these, you know, uh, diet and these things, but a lot of people want to hear it from the person who's actually done it. And, uh, and I'm super proud of Dr. Gina. Now, um, she's my wife, for if anybody's listening and they don't know. Um, but uh, she's one of the most beautiful women on the planet, no matter what size she is. Uh, but I'm very proud of her because she's at a healthy weight and she worked very hard to get there. So I'm going to let her just kind of tell her story to you guys and uh, tell you what all her ups and downs and, and how she did it. So here she is right here. And then after she gets done, I'll share with you the two secret weapons that we have for you on how to lose weight and lose it fast. All right? So here's Dr. Gina. Hi, guys. Um, it's kind of weird because I, I actually have two stories about me losing weight. Um, <clears throat> one was when I was um, my last year in, in undergrad where I was, um, I guess you can say in a very stressful relationship, I guess, um, where I had gained, oh, a good 40, 45 pounds. I was up at one, I think I want to say my heaviest was at 165. And um, that, in, that relationship ended, and I just looked at myself and I said, oh, my gosh, I am chubby. I got to get rid of this. So I looked at myself and I said, what needs to change? Well, of course, um, diet needed to change and my exercise needed to change. From eating, you know, eating out all the time, of course, in, in college you're not eating the best food. Um, you're, you're just eating whatever you can get your hands on and studying and, and you know, having fun, not really paying attention to what was going on with yourself. Um, so I, uh, the last year, I decided to change everything. So I started exercising, and it, it was just simple stuff, you know, walking to class, not taking the bus. Um, I actually took a PE class that actually, you know, started my, started my um, weight loss. And um, that PE class and just changing my diet completely helped me lose, a, a, I think, over 45 pounds that first time. And the diet that I was on, I went completely raw, vegetarian, vegan. I didn't have, didn't have all the good stuff. I didn't, you know, eat the cheeses. I didn't eat the breads. It was fruits and vegetables. It was a raw diet and um, lots of water and exercise. And, of course, it was hard at first, but once you got into that mindset that you were going to lose the weight, it came off really easily, and it got, it got to be very easily. And this was way before I met Tabor. And way before, you know, I went to chiropractic school. And so um, the summer that I went to chiropractic school, I had got myself down to 124 pounds. 
and that's where I'm at right about now. And that seemed like I have the perfect, the perfect weight for me because I've gone down to 118, and I noticed that I just did not feel good. I did not look good, and so I decided to gain, I gain a little bit of weight, um, just you know, to, for me to feel comfortable and look my best. And when I met Tabor, I had maintained 124 for um, two years. And I met Tabor, and he, that's where he met me when I was at 124. Um, we got married, and of course we had Ryder. And you can see that picture on the left, that's after Ryder. <laughs> and, you know, of course I didn't let myself get up to 165, but that's, that's, at, that's at about 155 pounds right there. And, again, I looked at myself and I said, this is not me. I, I'm not comfortable in my body. And so, again, we changed the diet. Um, I, I myself went all raw again, and um, that's what Tabor met me, me eating, eating raw. And he didn't like that because he had to have his meat, but that's what, that's what I did. And that's, that's um, you know, that's the, one of the hardest things is just to change the diet. And, you know, working out as well. You, you have to make sure you have the time. Um, and time is a hard thing to find, too. But, you know, after we're done here at the office at 6.30, we go home, we change our clothes, and we say, hey, Ryder, let's go get some muscles. And Ryder enjoys it. And I don't work out as hard as Tabor does. Tabor does, works out like five, five to seven days a week. I mean, he's, a, he's almost a, an everyday kind of guy. Me, I go three, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And those are my days. I look forward to them because the, the girls and the guys at the gym are awesome. And, you know, if, it, it has, if, it, if it's come to that point where you have to get a gym membership to do it, do it because it's going to be, you're, it's going to be beneficial to you in the end. And you have to invest in yourself to be able to live your long, healthy life and um, live it to the way that you want to. Dave Ramsey always says, um, live like like no one else, so you can live like no one else, right? So, and I want to live like no one else. <laughs> um, and it, I'll, I'll give out this opportunity. I have, I have spent many, many, many hours in the grocery store doing my researches on brands, doing the best, um, oper you know, the best types and whole foods that I can buy. And Tabor was always like, "Come on, can we just go to the grocery store and get out? Just buy whatever you need." Well, I know that I want to have natural food in my, in my system. I don't want preservatives. I don't want dyes. So I've spent the time, and I can now go into the grocery store, get you know, a week to two weeks' worth of groceries in under 30 minutes because I know exactly what brands um, there are. And I'm going to give the opportunity to, if any of you all want to come grocery shopping with me, I can help you, show you um, just some of the, um, the secrets to looking at what you need in your in your natural in your diet natural diet to get away from the man-made foods and go toward the toward God's foods. Um, of course, if you have any questions for me, I mean, I'm always here at the office. You can ask me, you know, specifics, whatever you want. I'm here. I'm a. As Tabor says I'm always a good resource. So, <laughs> but um, I think that's it that I got for y'all, um, and I'll pass it back to Tabor. Awesome, thank you. Um, all right, guys, so uh, that was awesome, and uh, of course we appreciate her sharing that story, but um, all I have for you now is our secret weapons, all right? Um, we'll, we'll end with these, and these are two supplements that uh, some people I've been working with and some really good friends of mine have been losing weight like crazy. It's healthy, that's the thing. As I figured, you know, if all we did was talk about diet tonight, not everybody would even believe in it that they could just change their diet and lose weight. Some of them are going to go out there and get some dangerous pills, ephedrin, you know, things that are going to make your, your, your cardiovascular system shut down. Some strokes have been caused by those types of diet pills, and we don't want that. So I'm going to show you a couple of uh, supplements that you can use um, that will help you lose weight. Then I'll show you the people who have actually used it and, and lost, you know, almost about a pound a day in some cases. So, you know, 20, 30 pounds in 30, 40 days, really. 
The first one that that we use is actually just a liquid multivitamin, and uh, it it it's a liquid, so it gets absorbed easier. And uh, so e- even if you have a really good diet, you're eating all fruits and vegetables. Today, di- uh, fruits and vegetables are just deficient in the nutrients. So there's not nutrients in those fruits and vegetables like there was 50 years ago, right? The, the land is just deficient in nutrients. So. Uh, this is a great liquid multivitamin. Um, it's it's from Vima here. It's about it's sixty three dollars for a month's worth of uh, liquid multivitamin. You only take two ounces, um, but uh, it provides a powerful liquid formula. It makes it easy for the vitamins and minerals and antioxidants you need. Um, it it basically just gives you a nutritional foundation, uh, and it's also very bioavailable, so it's body ready. And you need nutrients, especially if you're losing weight. We want you to lose weight healthy. We don't want you to um, lose weight through the uh, around about shortcuts, unhealthy ways, right? So Vima there, and that's the first. Now this one's the big gun, right? This is secret weapon number two, and this is the 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 thing that will just just melt pounds away. It's called the Dream Drops Weight Loss System. Um, it helps suppress your appetite, it helps reduce cravings, and it helps you burn excess fats and increase energy without you even having to do anything. Now, that's the dangerous part. Cause some people think you're going to just sit on the couch and put these things under your tongue and you're going to lose weight, which you might, but it's not. We still want you to exercise. We still want you to eat right. But these things will help you um, while you're doing that to drop pounds like crazy, sometimes up to even a pound a day, so up to you know, 20, 30 pounds in a month. Um, and I'll show you, this is my good friend Chris Burfield, and uh, he's, he's a buddy of mine who went on the Dream Drops and Vima. So he took this, the Dream Drops with Vima at the same time. He lost 23 pounds in three weeks with, that weight, with, the, with these Dream Drops. These are herbal. They're all natural. They, have, they come with raspberry ketones, which is something that just increases your metabolism, helps you burn fat and eat less, and helps you lose weight. Uh, this is his mom. Chris Burfield is my good friend. He actually shared that with his mom and uh, Terry, and she lost 17 pounds in seven weeks, all right? So 11 and a half inches, and she went from a size 12 to a size 8, uh, which is awesome. And uh, all that with, with just the Dream Drops, and she also used the Vima Nutrition. She used them together. So the, uh, the Dream Drops is uh, 199 but also comes with an ultimate fat loss instructions and food guide. So it tells you what you're allowed to eat, what you're not, um, and then how you take the drops, when you take them, you put them under your tongue. But it's only $199, which is not much compared to most weight loss programs. And uh, what I decided we could do, actually, um, is throw in, for people who wanted to try the Vima and who wanted to be on the Dream Drops, uh, we actually throw in the Vima uh, for no extra charge. So for just $199, which would normally be just the Dream Drops, you get to try a monthly supply of Vima. Uh, so that's sixty three dollars that uh, you're getting to save with that system, and so we're going to allow that to be available for the next twenty four hours. One of the cool things about the Vima uh, product is that if you don't like it or you don't think it works for you, you can actually mail after you finish it. You can mail the empty bottles back to the company, and they'll refund all your money. So you could actually make your you can make sixty three dollars back out of that um, that they'll refund if you don't like that nutrition. Uh, so if you want that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to be a salesman to you or anything, but if you want it, uh, we have those available. You can only get those uh, through a physician, by the way, the Dream Drops. And the cool thing is, is every time you come in, you know, I'll check on you. We'll update. We'll make sure that things are going on good. And if you have any questions on the, the uh, diet. Also, if somebody is, wants this and they're not here uh, in our area, for friends or family or in, other, in other areas, um, I don't mind calling you, you calling and checking in and, and doing consultations over the phone. Uh, to make sure that everything is going good for you and make sure that the Dream Drops and the Vima is working. Uh, but if you want to try both of those, then uh, just give us a call. And uh, there's the phone number there, 832-253-2447. So for those of you, if you're not l- watching on a computer, I'm going to say that again so you can write it down uh, if you're listening in by phone. The phone number again is 832 253 and you can just call that anytime. And yeah, that's Gina's, Gina's phone, and she'll answer, and she'll get uh, everything uh, down and taken care of, and, and you can try those. So, um, All right, well, I hope you got some huge value out of this webinar, and, uh, and, and I hope it, it helps you and, and, and helps make you healthier in the long run. I know it, it has our family. So if you guys ever have any questions or ever need anything, um, just let us know, all right? Um, yes, and the, uh, Denise, those drops are uh, – 
there I believe there are thirty day there is a thirty day or forty day supply. I, I could be mistaken. Um I will check on that, but I think they're either a thirty day or a forty day supply. Yep. Um all right. So I appreciate you guys being here and uh you guys have a good night. Thanks.